Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Falcon Sonari, back with another guide video for you. This is the Republic of Gaimul Quest Location Guide. Before I show you the screenshot of where you should be questing your knights, there is one little detail, or big detail rather, that I need to inform you about. I'm going to give an example here of a wizard and a mage. Now, if we look at the mage, I've turned Kane into a mage really quick to showcase this example. So, if we go to Fort Pastis, we notice that his class does not like to go to this location, right? However, we know that the wizard class does come from the mage class. Tier 1 is mage, tier 2 is sorcerer, and tier 3 is wizard, right? If we go to wizard on Mua, he likes to go to this location. Some locations apparently require at least tier 2 in some class types. I have the members of the Brigandine Discord family to thank on this one because I never even came across this example. It seemed very much streamlined that certain types like to go to certain locations and that was it. This is not the case. Sometimes it changes with the terrain type that certain classes prefer. For example, a Berserker going to a Viking. Berserkers normally like to be on mountains, right? But when you change to a Viking, they like to be on water. So their preferred quest location is going to change based on terrain or simply their tier. So I wanted to inform you of this now before I went any further with the guys just to make sure that you know that this is a possible outcome. Anyways, here's the graphic. As per usual, feel free to screenshot this. This will also be in the description. You can also pick this up from the Brigandine Discord server I am hosting. Look in the description for that below as well. But just a few examples here. We have a ton more castles within the Republic of Gaimul because it's one of the bigger nations along with Mana Cilicia. For example, at Fort Pastis, they do require sorcerer or wizard types, thief types, and dancer types. Notice it's Sorcerer and Wizard, like I said before, and not the Tier 1 Mage type. It's very specific. Right below that, the Isle of Lanu requires Fighter and Knight types, and not Swordsman types. Be sure to understand that. Thief types, Priest types, and Cleric types. A couple of these locations only require one type, which is Thieves, which is Alza Strait, and at the very bottom, at Orson Bay. You'll notice a lot of these locations are connected with other nations. For example, the Alza Strait is also available from the Norzalio Kingdom. So you're going to see some copies of locations here and there within these guide videos, but just so you know, I will be including every single location regardless if they are a copy or not. And that is once again legit all I have for you folks. I hope you really enjoyed the guide video. Please by all means screenshot this right here to have it saved on your phone or your computer, whatever you need to have easy access to it. Again, it is also in the description and you can pick this up from the Brigandine Discord server within the guides channel. A lot of the Brigandine scholars in the Discord server are currently updating these documents to show you updated data on their documents through questing and also gear pieces, etc. Any more Brigandine resources you wish to have access to, please browse the description below. You can find the Discord server, of course, along with the wiki page. You can also find a bunch of other Brigandine content creators in the description below. Please show them some love on their Twitch channels and YouTube channels. That way you have plenty of options to watch Brigandine content at any given time. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment below with your experiences on the game thus far, and also subscribe if this is your first time here and you wish to watch more content like this, including guide videos and Let's Play series. I am your host, Vago Sonari. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.